Hi guys, welcome back to Top Tips Graphics. It's me Ramis here with another ad setting tutorial for you. Today, as suggested by our subscribers, we are diving into the topic of creating sublimation templates or the pattern for the men's tank top by using the Adobe Illustrator in the easiest way. And if you are looking for the Illustrator file of the men's tank top in all the sizes, just head over to the description below. The download link is there. But here is the catch. To unlock this file, you will need to enter a three letter secret code in the message section. And you will only find that code by watching the video till the end. So don't miss any part of this video. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe icon so you will never miss the future uploads. And if you like to show extra support, feel free to hit the thanks button below. And it's really helped the channel to grow. All right, guys, let's jump to the straight into the illustrator and get started. So guys, here we start. First of all, let's open the Adobe Illustrator. Then let's open the size chart of the men's tank top. Here, this is the size chart of the men's tank top with the measurement. Here in this mockup, you can see the letter A, which represented the chest width of the tank top and also the letter B, which represent the length of the tank top. Here, all the measurements in the chart lists are in inches unit. Let's check the chest width and the length of the each sizes. That is, extra small size is chest width of 17.5 inch and the 24.5 inch of the length. Small is 18.5 inch and 25.5 inch. Medium is 19.5 inch chest and the 26.5 inch length. And so on. Now let's see how to create the men's tank top templates or the pattern with this measurement. For that, just to copy this chart list by pressing the control key. Then create a new page as per the width of the printing paper. Here I am giving the measurement of 150 centimeter width and 150 centimeter height. Then create the page. Now paste the copied size chart list in this page. Then move to out of the artboard and let's start to create the tank top sublimation templates. Now here we are planning to create the tank top templates of the medium sizes. Here you can see the measurement of the medium sizes is 19.5 inch of chest width and 26.5 inch of the length. First of all, we have to create a rectangle with the measurement as per the chart list. For that, take the rectangle tool and create a box with the measure medium size measurement. Sorry, but here the measurement unit is in mm. So let's change the unit into inches by the preferences by the short key control K. Then go to the units and change the general unit into inches. Now let's create the rectangle shape by using the rectangle tool or pressing the short key letter M and click on the artboard. Then in the rectangle comment box, enter the width as medium size chest size 19.5 inch and height as medium size length 26.5 inch. Then press OK. Here we get a rectangle with the measurement of width as 19.5 inch and the height of 26.5 inch. Then just to change the color of the rectangle. Here I am just giving the green color for the medium size tank top templates. Then the bottom portion of the rectangle have to increase by 1 inch for stitching the hem portion of the tank top. For that, just to take the preferences command boards by pressing the short key Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment by 1 inch. Then choose the direct selection tool and select the bottom two anchor point of the rectangle and press the down key one time. Here the bottom portion is increased by 1 inch. Now again change the keyboard increment into half inch by opening the preferences by clicking the Ctrl K short key. Then by using the direct selection tool, select right side to anchor point and press the right arrow button one time for moving half inch towards right. Same thing do over the left side and the top of the rectangle as shown here. Now here right left and the top side was increased by half inch which will go inside while stitching. Now let's open the ruler on the left and the top of the artboard by the short key Ctrl R. After that create the horizontal guidelines on the top of the rectangle by dragging the cursor from the top ruler. Then make a vertical guidelines on the left part of the rectangle from the side ruler. On the same way, create the vertical guidelines on the right side of the rectangle 
as shown here. After that we have to move the top guidelines towards down 10.5 inches. For that by using the direct selection tool just select the top guideline. If the guideline is still locked you have to unlock by clicking the right button of the mouse. Then open the preferences by the short key Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment by 10.5 inch. Press OK. Then press the down key one time in the keyboard. Then select the left guidelines and take the preferences by the short key Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment by 4 inch and then press the right arrow button one time in the keyboard. Do the same process over the right guidelines towards the left side. Now both the side guidelines are placed 4 inch inside the rectangle. Now you have to add the anchor point in all the intersection points. For that select the rectangle and choose the add anchor point tool. You can also use the short key plus then add the anchor points in this four intersection point as shown here. Then choose the direct selection tool and select the left top corner anchor point and delete by the delete button. Then lock the guidelines by clicking the right mouse button and choose the lock guide. After that take the pen tool from the tools menu or the short key letter P. Then click over this anchor point and join that anchor point to this top anchor point and continuously press and hold and then drag the mouse cursor upward until the bottom handle of the anchor point touch the guidelines intersection like this. After that do the same process over the opposite side also. Delete the right top anchor point by selecting using the direct selection tool. Then take the pen tool and join both anchor point same like before until bottom handle of the anchor point touch the intersection like this. After that unlock the guidelines by right clicking the mouse button and select unlock guides. Then you can select the guidelines. Select the left horizontal guideline and press short key Ctrl K for the preferences settings and change the keyboard increment into 2 inches. Then press right arrow key one times. Then select the opposite guidelines and press left arrow key one time. Now both the guidelines are moved to inside by one, 2 inch. After that take the add anchor point tool and add each anchor point in the guidelines intersection of the object. Then by using the direct selection tool just select the left top corner anchor point and then preferences by the short key Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment by half inch and press down arrow key one time. Then using the direct selection tool again select the right corner anchor point and press down key one time again. Now let's create the neck portion of the tank top. For that first take the ellipse tool or you can use the short key letter L and enter. Then you will get the ellipse comment box. In that you can add the width as 8 inch and the height as 13.5 inch like that. Then press ok. Here an ellipse is created with the dimension of 8 inch by 13.5 inch. Then by using the direct selection tool just select the top portion of the circle and delete it. So you will get a semicircle like this. After that select both the body and the neck portion using the selection tool and align both by the horizontal align center and then vertical align top options. Now just to change the color of the neck portion to get separate from the body like this. Then we have to wider the bottom of the neck. For that select the neck portion with the direct selection tool and choose anchor point tool for curving the anchor points or you can use the short key shift C. With this tool click over the bottom anchor point of the neck and hold and move towards left by pressing and holding the shift button until the handle of the anchor points touch the guidelines like this. Then we have to remove the neck portion from the body. For that select both the body and the neck object and choose the shape builder tool or you can use the short key shift M. Then move the cursor over the neck and once you see this shades over the neck press and hold the alt button and click mouse cursor over that portion that it will be get removed from the object like this. Then let's remove all the guidelines in the artboard. Here you can see that the front portion of the tank tops are ready. Now let's create the back portion of the tank top. For that just to duplicate the front portion like this. Then by using the direct selection tool just to select the bottom neck anchor point of the back portion and remove the handle of the anchor point of the both side of the neck like this by using the direct selection tool. Then again select the neck bottom anchor point by using the direct selection tool and press Ctrl K for the preferences and change the keyboard increment by 6 inch. Then press up arrow key one time. Here you are. Here we finish the medium size sublimation pattern or the templates of the men's tank top. And let's mention here men's tank top medium size. Now let's see how to create the other sizes of the tank top sublimation template. But it's very easy once you created any one of the size. Here we created the medium sizes. 
Now let's go for the other sizes. For that, first of all, let's uh, increase the sizes of the artboard. Then just to copy the medium size tank top pattern by clicking and dragging down the copy by pressing and holding the shift alt button like this. Now let's convert this copy to medium size pattern into the large size tank top pattern. For that, first here I am just changing the color into orange color. After that, just select the direct selection tool and take the preferences by the short key Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment by one inch. And using the direct selection tool, just select bottom anchor points of both the front and back templates and move down one time by using the down arrow key. Then again take the preferences and change the keyboard increment into half inch. Then using the direct selection tool, just select the entire right portion anchor points of the back templates and press right arrow key one time. Same way, select the left anchor points of the back templates and press left arrow key one time. Now we can repeat the same process over the front side templates of the tank top like this. In this way, here all the sides of the tank tops are increased by half inch and the length is increased by one inch. Here we made the large sizes tank top from the medium sizes in the easiest way. But here you just note that the arm sizes of the medium size and the large sizes are same. So we don't need to do any changes in the sleeve opening. Now from the large size pattern, let's make the Excel size templates. For that, just duplicate the large size copy like this. And just to change the color of the copied templates to separate from the other sizes. After that, we have to do the same process of changing the keyboard increment by one inch and by using the direct selection tool, select the whole bottom anchor point and move down one time by pressing the down arrow key. Then again change the keyboard increment by half inch and expand all the side of the tank top templates by half inch like this. Here by using the direct selection tool and the arrow key, we expand the width of the front and back tank tops by half inch in each sides. But here it's not finished. When we are converting the tank top templates from the large size to Excel size, we have to increase the sleeve opening by half inch. For that, by using the direct selection tool, just to select the arm opening bottom anchor points of both front and back templates and move down one time by using the down arrow key. Here the sleeve opening is get wider by half inch. So guys, here we completed the Excel size tank top templates from the large size. And guys, I know that you are waiting for a long time to get the secret code to access the Google Drive downloads. Here it is. You can enter the letter TTM in the access request message. Now let's create the two Excel tank top templates from the Excel sizes. For that, just duplicate the Excel sizes templates and change the color into the black color. After that, same as before, change the keyboard increment by 1 inch and increase the length of the templates by 1 inch using the direct selection tool and the down arrow key. Again change the keyboard increment by half inch, then increase all the side of the tank top by half inch as before. But please note that here we are not selecting the shoulder anchor points, so the shoulder size remains as Excel size. So guys, here we completed the two Excel tank top templates from the Excel size templates. Now let's create the small size tank top templates from the medium size templates. As usual, just duplicate the medium size temp pattern like this. And here I am changing the color into yellow. Again change the keyboard increment into 1 inch. And here we have to reduce the length of the template. So just select the bottom anchor points by the direct selection tool and move up by one time by pressing the up arrow key one time. Again change the keyboard increment by half inch and reduce half inch width from all the side of the tank top. Also please note that here also we are not changing any changes over the shoulder width. So just select all the side anchor point by leaving the shoulder anchor point by using the direct selection tool like this. And move to inside by half inch in all the sides. So here we completed the small size tank top pattern or the templates. Then we are going to create extra small size from the small size templates. For that, just to duplicate the small size as usual. And just to change the color into blue color. And this is the smallest size. So we have to reduce the entire size of the neck, sleeve and the body, everything. So we are reducing the length of the entire templates by 1 inch. So that the total body is proportionally reduced by 1 inch. And we get the extra small size tank top templates from the small size. So guys, here we created the complete sizes of the sublimation tank top templates from the extra small to double extra large sizes in the easiest way as per this size chart. 
Now let's see how to apply the designs over these templates. For that, I just copy the large size templates by the short key Ctrl C and open the designs which I already designed in another file. Then I paste the large size templates by the short key Ctrl V. Move tank top front templates over the front design and the back templates over the back designs like this. Then just select the front design and the templates and make the center and the top alignment like this. Apply the same process over the back design and the template also. Then clipping mask the front designs and the templates by the short key Ctrl 7. Do the same process over the back design and the templates. So guys, here we completed the full project which start from creating the tank top sublimation templates from the size chart and converting the, that templates into every sizes starting from the extra small to double extra large. Then how to apply the designs over the created templates like these points. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.